Welcome to another episode where we are going to solve every crime in the neighborhood. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And let's drive. Come on. Oh, wait a minute. Before we do that, I actually want to know what is in uh, this compound over here. <laughs> oh. And let's see. Who are you going to call? Really? It's the only other compound in here. So, what is it? Ooh. Dennis property. Denny, not not Dennis. Denny's. Uh, not Denny's. More Dennis. No, De De Denny's is this, this. Well, is it Denny or was it? Whatever. It's some property. Who's Lizzie we pretending to be? We got that. And then we have, of course, uh, the corporate wars. Uh, the musical. Ah, oh, wait a minute. We are who we pretend to be. I've pretended to be everything. That's why I found the truth. Lizzie Wizzy is an artist. Packs her lawns. Her work includes award-winning albums and conceptual film appearances, as well as, for lack of a better term, conceptual performance art. Her latest artistic obsession features the medium of brain dance. In recent interviews, Lizzie has mused about the boundary between the documentation of reality versus our active shaping of it. Got that mean? Lizzie Wizzy plans to scroll her own BD. We can only dream that she has to live just one day in a chrome skin fans would go wild okay that was a short one that's why I uh, went through this the thing is I've read this one before but I just like those little data shots they're cool really do they ah it's a it's a normal staircase it's not an escalator or something <laughs> that one escalated quickly so wow oh that looks cool there's also water in there. And... It's only the flooring that does in, uh, some sound. And then you have your standard pool sound, right? right? Okay, so the pool, for some reason, uh, is something that makes watery sounds. But anything else related to water doesn't really do any water sounds, too. That's interesting. So what you need is some kind of uh, standard approach to how sound is made and then also attach this to another function that calculates how deep the water is or if there's water in general and then if there's water calculates the depth and then uh, it kind of adjusts the sound accordingly. Slovage McAllister and the news again. That's something new. Pompous asshole or eccentric genius. Acclaimed rocker boys, Lovage McAllister has ruffled feathers yet again following his most recent performance at Nightclub Top Tart. While a rock concert brawl is no big news in itself, several unofficial sources allege it was McAllister who instigated the violent outbreak. I think I got this one too. After hurling a tear gas canister at paparazzi the crowd before the booze fueled melee got heated, the Cartesian duelist premiered new songs, Cybernetic Soul, Mind of Freedom and Cookie Dirk or something, yes, which has unusual half critics divided lyrically. This new signal touches on itself, da, 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 da. The medical controversies ever swirling around the Cartesian duelist frontman as population continues to swirl. The band's new album is slated for release and so on and so forth. Okay. I got this one there. And uh, Carolli's new security bot line. Ooh. That's neat. So, Carolli's new security bot line. Fed up with unreliable security contractors? Did another brainless goon from the animals beat your gardener half to death by mistake again? If you take professional self-defense systems seriously, choose Carolli security bots powered by Hollis technology. Crawley security bots are a proven solution for owners who adhere to our terms of service and safety guideline. When purchasing Corolla's products, you consent to all legal provisions bound to the sales contract <laughs> limit time guarantee. Which basically means you're so screwed if you have one of those in your house. Or at least if you try to rely on this one. Because that one can mess you up. So, everything in here is locked. But I have to say, this apartment complex looks beautiful. Yeah, you just can't get in here. The fact that it's a Dennis uh, apartment, or like Dennis's place, whatever it's called. Uh, counterfeit documents? No. And Eurodyne, the unauthorized choreography. What is Eurodyne? Unsurprisingly, Samurai never 
achieved a major commercial success because uh, the voice that directed the group's trajectory was uh, that of uh, Demogag frontman Silverhand rather than uh, that of Eurodyne, whose main aspiration was the pursuit of uh, the music itself. Silverhand never possessed grand ambitions for creative expression. Instead, he was hell-bent on a personal path of devastation. These destructive tendencies had significant influ influence on Kerry and persisted long after the Arizaka Tower attack and Johnny's disappearance. Only following an extended hiatus did Eurodyne prove to uh, the world his creative potential. He captured the imaginations and hearts of thousands of fans, securing him a spot in the company of music legends. Also something I've read probably. Because the name Eurodyne seems to ring a bell, even if it's a small one. Alright, so there's nothing up here, except... Ooh, an item. Look at that. There are items on top of the complex. Isn't that cool? So, where's the thing? Down here. Standard uncommon crafting components. Nothing else there. But we could try to check if there's more stuff on the rooftops. Wait a minute. No, this one goes until the end here. Alright. Alright. Bam. Ah. Woo. Alrighty. Well then. Wait a minute. There's still the garage. None of these can be interacted with as well. Alright, now how did I get in there? Oh, huh. I was like, okay, where's the where's the door? That there, there actually is no door, wait a minute. You can only get in here through the gate, and that one might just be activated via quest or so. Alright. Uh this one for some strange reason got bugged out. That's great. So the last fifty meters we can just run. Ooh. Fuck Chris. If you're willing to fix my back, I'm in. Yeah, exactly. In the name of science. Alright. Do we have anything to uh, scan them or so? It's only free. That's weird. They are automatically tacked. Look at this. You can just see them. And something else sees me too. The executioner from the other, uh, Arazaka. That one gets the contagion. Mm, no, I'm counting four enemies here. One, two, three, four. Ain't Mm -hmm. So, oh bollocks, uh, nah, that one's iffy. So once he 55, no, one C, huh. uh, okay, 55 BD, yeah, 55, one C, BD 55, oh, you gotta be kidding me, that's the wrong one, mm. so I need to go to another uh, one C. Uh, 1 CPD 55. Okay. 1 CPD 55. <laughs> that was a strange one. Uh, I actually wanted to put a, an electroshock on him. There we go. Now he's down. And also maybe test out some uh, of the damages here. Ooh, woo. And we got a thousand whatnot damage. That's a lot. Alright. Bam! All right, that's interesting. A thousand two hundred whatnot damage, and then uh, an additional crit. That's weird. He's so dead. But the suit is amazing looking. Look at that. What about the? Uh, oh no. Where'd the other one go? Oh goodness, no. What happened? Uh, Zaka has mid suit. Nice. Some kunai's. The job is complete, but it doesn't really sound complete to me. Increase weapon attack speed by 0.3, nice. And some interesting conversation that took place between all of the related personnel. Alright, so we got an archive conversation between Diana Kuno and Wakako Okada. Diana Kuno, I need your help. Sometime, some things up at Biotechnica. The research I was working on with Cog Koch uh, was leaked. High ups want to pin it on me, all the casualties, everything. Meanwhile, all of them. Koch included, pretend uh, they know nothing about it and walk away clean. 
And that's not all. They are gonna kill me so the prosecutor can't question me. I know because I've done this before myself. I need help getting out of town today. Cost isn't an issue. Wakako answered, my answer is no. You are up to your neck and shit and I won't just dirty my hands pulling you out of it. But let me give you some advice. If you want to get out of Night City, do it now. This second. Now. Alright. And then there was, of course, uh, the other strange shot that I had. The target of uh, full liquidation. Name, Diana Kuna. Okay. State is red. Priority is highest. And Dr. Joanna Koch. Signed. It did not really... Uh, Sounded as if I finished that. I just uh, beat down whoever bet <laughs> beat it, uh, battered her down. But other than that, nothing really came out of it. That's the issue. So let's see. Uh, this one, of course, has some mods on it. The only way of getting uh, weapon mods, it seems, is to. Yeah, take them from the enemies. Okay. Very, very interesting. Let's do like 10 of those. And then we can continue with that, of course, as well. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that's enough. Let's do them every now and then. Uh, so we can continue with all of that. Okay. So she wanted to get out of Night City, and similar to the Truman Show, every, yeah, every path outside here is blocked. Weird. All right, we need our vehicle, our trusted steed. There it is. So we got the beating done. Uh, the tarot we just ignore for now, because that is part of a uh, different follow-up quest. Uh, how do I get there? All over the way down there? Maybe this? And then there's another reported crime. Hmm... I could go down there, get the assault, and then do whatever this crime is here. Ah. So, let's see. Can I get down there? With minimum... Huh. Minimum impact on my surroundings. Let's see. Maybe just straight, yeah, straight forward is the way to go. Wait a minute, since when is there an Arasaka building right in the middle of it? That's weird. Yeah, there is just an Arasaka building right on the middle of the road. Good, well, at least that's over with. How was the interview? Bearable? Is that a serious question? <laughs> okay, you got me. Hmm. All right. So Columbia. Nope. NC resident. Another NC resident. And this is an Arasaka building. Okay. But I will clear this up once I am after the tarot cards. Oh no! I'm. Oh 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 oh. Whoa. Thank goodness uh, this game does not seem to have good physics. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's not call them good. Let's call them realistic. Ooh. <laughs> uh, Nick, we are going all around Night City, right? We are driving and driving and driving. And what do we find? This. A little hidden treasure. Isn't that perfect? Can we uh, interact with it in some, some way? Maybe just... It doesn't... Hmm. It's not part of the Toro mission. That would have been amazing. And this to my left is also part of the Arasaka stuff, or is it? Could be. Ooh. What happened here? Interesting. This is new. Stylish turquoise thingy. Some liberty. Interesting. That could be the end of a mission. Like a hidden uh, reward or so. So, um, conversation between Robert McIntyre and Gaston Slayton. Hey, boss man. We are calling this off. Security here is nutty. Risk not worth the reward. Then I'll double the reward. 
Like, cool, but it's still gonna pass. This place is a fort. Triple it then. Okay then. Really want this guitar, huh? There's something hidden inside. Loaded crat chip, Da Vinci painting, nuclear bomb codes. You wouldn't understand. Uh, will you do it or not? If not, I'll have to begin looking for someone with a spine. Ah, yeah, I'll do it. Excellent. I collect the guitar with the drone and me? What's my evac plan? That's for you to decide. Well, uh, that's kind of shitty, but okay. Fine, just don't make me regret this. Okay. Uh, who is, um... The thing is, I can't scan this individual, nor this one, so I don't know what both of them are. And also, if I can even pick up this... No. Hmm. There's supposed to be only two people, but for some reason... Okay. It is Night of M. Hmm. Okay. Wouldn't have guessed that. The nice thing about this is that as long as you are inside a vehicle, gravity 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 will not affect you. Ooh. What do we have here? Is this another uh, another Arasaka stuff or is this um, is an emperor? What is this? A patrol officer this time. Normal ones. So you beat down the previous individuals, then they respawn, and then this stuff happens. That's just great. Whee! Ah. Interesting. So there is a... Uh... Hey, hey, I'm Josh Kevorkin, and Bollocks, how am I going to get up there again? There we go. Ah! No, 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 no. Ah, uh, how am I gonna do that? There is a way of getting across there. I just... Yeah. You have to run up there. It's a little lightly sideways. Then it is... Oh, no. Uh-oh. And I'm dead. Okay. So... It can happen that your bike all of a sudden just destroys itself and you get flung about like an empty sack of flesh that you are. Maybe I should have uh, driven with a car at this point. I think there could have been stuff there. Ooh. Nice. Alright, so let's just drive straight forward. With a bit of luck, we don't collide with things. Mm -hmm. Like, there are strange blockades that you can just destroy, and then there are some that just aren't working. See that? Woo! Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. As long as you are inside a vehicle, you won't take any damage. That is amazing. That's why it's so important to always keep this thing intact. And there we have it. So, time to give them a strange... Whoa, beating. I probably was not jumping high enough, was I? And the camera is going to see me any moment. It is friendly, that's perfect. What about the others? They're all friendly. That's strange. Uh, wait a minute. Let's take a ping. I want to see where everybody is. There. I'm counting four individuals. Neutralize the perps and secure the evidence as usual. Let's see. Can I... Let's go for contagion again because it's amazing. Ah, that's why it doesn't deal any more damage. It does decent damage already. The problem is that they heal themselves the way you can heal yourselves too. Alright, we got one. I just have to take another contagion. Uh, uh, one second, three, two, one. No, I have to do that. Oh, come on. Why can't I... Don't want him to move. There it is. No, 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 no. Contagion. Bam. 
And that's the last one. I just don't know how much health he has left. Short circuit. And everything should be fine. Oh, except for this other enemy out here. That's the only survivor. Two more seconds. Point two. Ah. Uh, you have to get in and out of that whole thing. Bam. Oh, wait a minute. There are a few more. Contagion takes like another second. So, where is she hiding? Nah, okay. Let's just make it jump like that. Uh, why is short circuit not working? Ah, because it's getting hacked already. Bam. Okay, we get another one. No, it's just this individual here. Five seconds. The icon of short circuit is never the correct one. Sometimes it looks like another poison effect. Sometimes it does not. It's just weird. But I still hear someone else talking. Who is that? Okay, and what about this one? That's included here, and that one can be stitched at the start. So we start with them. Uh, 55, 1 C, 55, 50, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Huh. Got everything. I like those simple and easy to complete codes. They're neat. Oh, nice. Also, the whole combat area is done now. What on earth is going on? I'm just walking forward and then poof, I immediately get killed by whatever effect is on there. See that? That's strange. Maybe they were still kind of under the electric effect. And the whole thing kind of backfired immediately. It's just weird. So what else do we have here? Um, we do have some nice items and whatnot. But where's our evidence that we have to pick up? Most of that is just garbage. Yeah, and we do get additional crafting experience. Singular digits, but it's still digits, isn't it? Mm. And let's stop this thing from blaring all together. All right. Ah, that's the dude. No. Yeah, the other one was up here, and then what do we have in the bag? Uh, a RAM upgrade, nice. Uh, by 0.1 second, no. Nah. Increases. Uh, isn't this already the one that I have equipped? I think so. And another conversation between a dude and another dude. Whoever these dudes are, let's see. Between uh, Karnato Saito. Uh-huh. It's just between him. Uh, there's an order for some BD gear, so we better fucking deliver, right? And it's gotta go smooth, doesn't it? Plan is, you all grab the truck with the BD scrollers and gear. It'll all be right by 4th Wall Studio, just sitting there asking to be taken. You go tomorrow, take down the guards, but do not hit the truck. Gear's gotta be in mint condition. Let me remind you, this is some top shelf shit. All it needs is a few scratches and it'll be worth shit. So... Did they put scratches on it or not? And also, what on earth is this? Someone scratched, like, yeah. How do you not take any scratches on a truck? You make it levitate. It's pretty easy to think about it. And okay, sweetie. So the whole thing is now cleared out. Nice, nice, nice. All right, perfect. Now the only thing we need to do now is uh, continue on this road. Maybe do this assault in progress over here, and then do the reported crime over there. Or maybe even better. Uh, you yeah, wait a minute. We do this assault in progress over here, and then we can do those two reported crimes alongside this road. Because for some reason, you can just, uh... 
Oh, yeah, you can really just waltz around like that. I can also go to this weapon vendor right around town here too. Ah, nice. So, let's go there and check something out. How am I? Oh, wait a minute, yeah, I can't increase athleticism anymore because my... Huh. My stats won't get any higher. What's this? Oh, wait a minute. These are just standard thugs, right? Looks like it. Could be some Arasaka dudes. Uh, yep, standard thugs. Let's take this one, short circuit this dude, and maybe get a huh, weapon glitch on this one. Why is that one not working? Insufficient stuff, okay. So let's hide. Interesting. And there it goes. The racketeer is dead. And let's go for this one here with a short circuit. Bam. Three, two, one. Bam. Could have just done this from the start, but I just like this hacking ability. <laughs> That's really neat. This game would benefit from a quicker way of uh, accessing those enemies, though. Like, not just scanning and uploading the viruses and whatnot, but uh, just quicker. Maybe just hit one button and then that's it. Like a uh, quicker way of doing so. Maybe even um, lock this behind some upgrades or so. That would be okay too. And... No. Whoop. Whoop de doodles. And up we go again. And where's my... There we go. So, and I know that I'm on the wrong road here. But when it comes down to it, I can just uh, jump down some ooh, some floors, and I could do it. Oh yes, 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 yes. Really have to increase my monetary. Let's take those and oh come on, really. So then, it's supposed to be somewhere down there. Please don't go to the left. Perfect. Ooh. Uh oh. Uh. So can nope. That's not great. And up we go. Bollocks. Uh, really? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I can't get higher than this anymore. There we go. Come on. Oh, what is going on here? Every time I fall towards the floor, my cybernetics are just breaking or so. That is so weird. It's absolutely weird. I don't know why. It just happens and then I'm screwed. And I can't jump anymore. Okay. You have to do a little jump and then you can do the slightly larger jump. But it's just strange. My cybernetics are just breaking. Uh, let's take this road then. Oh, 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 oh. That one is actually a pretty good one. Uh, let's see. Do those things stack up or not? Yes. Because you don't see those little icons. Once you try to interact with those. Well, like, if you're on the, on the bike. Or not. They just get reloaded. I think this is a way for the game to save on resources once you're driving. Like, it does not display the things. Like, see that? It says sold out. That should disappear as soon as I step onto it. Uh, nope. Okay, but this was my guess. At least, this one is the right way forward now. <laughs> Ooh, wait a minute. 
might have just been at this weapon vendor in the past. Ooh. Ah, that's okay. Hmm, how am I gonna have to get through the building somewhat? How am I gonna do that? Ooh. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. What's this? We got some trash. Yes. Please, let's be good now. Nope. And this is probably some guy who's asking for Euro dollars, isn't he? Look, I don't like it when someone stares at me. All right. Nope, it's not. He's just uh, coding on the streets. A street coder. Oh, we also got elevators here. That's cool. If you're too lazy of going up and down the stairs... Oh, there we go. And then we're street thugs. Doing street thug things. Nice. Don't want to attack them. They're just having fun here. Alright. They can go on. Ooh, and there we have them. Scatadoosh. Well, bam. Okay. Ooh. Bam. Okay, we gotcha. And this other dude right here. Problem solved. They're out of combat, and the others aren't even coming to the rescue. Whoa. And that dude just survived. Isn't that great? Because sometimes uh, they're just getting completely murdered. Oh, an abstract painting. Look at that. How abstract is it? Is it so abstract that it just gets turned into junk immediately or not? Ooh. What's this? There's another... Ah, hmm. Because I have to finish this little encounter here, don't I? Alright, let's take this evidence with us. What is this? Carnage, seminar booster, and a conversation as well. So what's this conversation all about? And every time it says complete, it's, it kind of feels like a uh, messed up mission also. Okay, conversation between James Ishihara and Kuniko Azo. Got some beers. Uh, Stone broad straight. Slab on the wrist or bullet to the brain? Bullet. Doesn't want to pay? Why not? Says he doesn't need protection, so a gonk. Even hired some muscle of his own. Zero the whole bunch. Mercs. All animals? It's animals. <laughs> that one was... Isn't this the... Okay, 24-7 open. Ooh -hoo. Where do I have to go? Upstairs. Why is it that I... Ah, okay, I have to get past them. That's all. There we go. Kind of looks as if someone just turned their apartment into a weapon shop. So, yeah. What you got? What you got in stock? Various item. If you are looking to cause pain. Indeed. Pain it is. A lot of pain. So, and we have what? Uh, here's a hammer, a legendary socket wrench. With only two mod slots on it though, but we are not going for those. We are going for whatever uh, bonuses he has to offer over here. Because for some reason, we cannot craft those mods. That's kind of sad though. Kind of sad. So, let's clean our inventory though, because we have found tons of tons- Whoa! The Liberty! With some nice mods on it again. Uh, four of them even, come on, it's a nice pistol. Let's just grab it. Uh, it's like, do you, do, do you want good weapons? Yeah, hmm. What do you do with them? Do you use them? Nah, just dismantle them. <laughs> uh, Pearls before pigs. Oh, wait. Uh, it's, ah, it's super in five. What else we got in here? Some advertisements, some lockers. Ah, some lockers. 
That one is of course closed. Anything else in here? Showers, showers, lockers, lockers. Why is it there's only an Arasaka suit but nothing else? Hmm? Wait a minute. Uh, back to the inventory. Back up. And this one can be dismantled. Not T. Uh, Z. There we go. So this dude had absolutely nothing to offer for us. And up we go. Ah, nice. So let's restock. Oh, that's great. The, ooh. Oh, we have to be careful here. Yeah? There's also a strange underground environment down there too. Exactly under the bridge. Seems interesting. But yeah, we're not going to this melee shop anymore. Let's see. There's also a food shop right around the corner. Let's check this one out. Like this whole section here. Let's just check this out. The SOS. Uh, let's see. Is this... It's fairly close together, so let's not do this right now, because I don't want to trigger that. Mm, I could do this little assault in progress over there as well. Let's do this one then. Uh, where's my trusted steed? This way. Vending machines again. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, nah. These only had some stuff to eat on them. We can always drive past those vending machines. Whoa. What's this? NCPD? Or what is this? Militech mech. NCPD. That's not, uh. Well, actually, it doesn't really matter if I take them out or not. Hmm, and this is probably, yeah, in a shop down the street. Ah, oh, wasn't that great, wasn't that great, that was amazing. Ah, and there is our little beading that we have to dish out. A veteran guard, okay. Let's contage this dude. And short circuit the other. Maybe get a ping here so we know where stuff is. There's the other one. Hmm. I could go with a weapon glitch just so they don't attack me. Can I hide behind my... Not quite. Well, actually, yes, I can. Let's short circuit this dude. Uh-oh. And... We got it. Bam. Get the first one. Let's go for... There we go. Things you always have to rescan them. Bam. Got it. Whoa. I have to watch out for my health as well. What's this target for elimination? What about that one? Ah, uh, contract payment, status paid in full. Um, Rick Morales is the target. Profession, techie, tunnel construction. Uh, Aldi Caldos, height 510. Stress, response, highly nervous. Target is hypersensitive. Risk of impulsive behavior. Skin tone is light. And the theft of proper proprietary business information on the construction of a maglev tunnel. Sale to third parties. Ah, come on. How is it that the maglev tunnel is still a futuristic tech? It's not that difficult. You just put some magnets on there, you wire them up accordingly, and then the whole thing just goes forward or backwards. The only thing you have to do is uh, you have to put a wave through uh, the magnet. And depending on how the wave travels through this, right, uh, it has to be like in a free stage fashion, free phases. And if these phases change a little bit, you can, it's, it's a basically a, uh, a motor um, but instead of a um, rotation motor, a normal electric rotation motor, mm, you just cut it open and then you unravel it. Uh, and then you just have a linear motor 
and then this whole thing just works. And if you have uh, also a um, a magnetic field outside and inside, right, then it holds it in and the whole train will be held in place and does not fall off to the sides. It's really easy, actually. So, Rick, no, too low by how much? Uh, double it. For one measly shot, ah, you don't like it. Go in that tunnel yourself, find a way through. And I know you're with the Alder Calders, not like you're harder. Uh, you're an Alder Calder too, I was. Deal or no deal? Nah, deal. So, Rick and someone else just try to deal things. And the Alde Caldo thingamajis just uh, bet him. And the beat it, the, the beat it, it him down. What is it with all those vehicles just going through the floor as if they are made out of water? So, let's get more of those. I like it when those vending machines actually propel all of those items out. Instead of just drip feeding them to you. Like they really shoot them outwards. See that? That's cool. It should be like that all the time. Like. Alrighty. So we got that one done. Now I only have to take uh, the evidence with me. It's always the evidence that. There we go. And I'm inside on. Okay. Nothing else in this vending machine. What's inside there? Some stuff. Another target for elimination, but that's probably the same message as before, isn't it? What does it say? Uh, paid in full, Rick Morales, yada yada yada, proprietary theft, and uh, selling it to third parties. Alright, next one up there. We got some thievery. And the thievery is actually really close to the uh, Ripper Dock down there, too. But yeah, I'm going down there, then you could go to this one, but I'm going for the Ripper Dock first. Oh, actually, I could also just make a little stop. At the vendor stand there. How do I get there? Probably just... Yeah, driving around like that is the expected... Whoa, 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 whoa. Like, this really is city center. Uh, nope, we got... Oh, no, 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 no. go. Ah, so nice. Oh, not just a few. Well, they're not just a few. Give me more. Come on. Maybe if you stand further away, they are also getting propelled further. All right. We are going to take... Uh, something is holding me back. Ah, what do we have here? Someone just chillaxing, eh? Ah, uh, and someone else also chillaxing. Uh, she's probably uh, intoxicated. Hope uh, Vaughn. Vo it's really difficult to pronounce or to figure out how this name is supposed to be pronounced. Vor Voron, Vaughn, like how? And another one, like, look at them. But it's always a woman that seems to be intoxicated. Or is it sometimes also a dude? So, what do we got here? Oh, what's this? Jing Queen. At least, you're wearing it. <laughs> That's really nice advertisement. Uh, it doesn't matter if you live or die, as long as you wear that stuff. Sight. You disgust me. Yeah, it's a really nice, nice place, place you have here. Quaintly slick. Hmm. Nice place. Nice people who behave, who pay. No tolerance whatever for individuals from Watson. Uh huh. 
You got a problem with people from Watson? You got a menu? Yes, we have. Interesting. Why does he not like people from Watson? I can understand his... Uh, uh, him being a little conflicted about that, yes. But then again, that's pretty much it. So, clothing shop, yes. Let's see. Whoa. Only thing they have is shoes. And grenades, of course. Look at this. Wait a minute. Ah, uh, it just glitches out because I'm looking at it from the side. If I look at it, it edit, 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 uh, from straight forward, uh, then the tags stay the same. I thought they would go up and down depending on the stock price or something like that. Well, you can actually have a shop like that. So, recommended anything? Stuck on where I want to take my style. Anything you'd recommend? Your eyes remind me of autumn. Hmm. Might I suggest a piece from Chiaki Kyoto? All right. What's good here? Whatever you desire. Well, it kind of depends. If you have nice items too, of course, this one requires higher levels. Kind of kidding me. Twenty-four, even as if this is in some way special. Only thing that's special about the uh, these items is that ooh, that it looks cool. It's a flame-resistant polyamide rocker code. S doesn't even give you any additional effects or anything. And I think I got this one too, right? I don't know. Let's just get all of those crafting opponents here. What's this? Legendary crit chat. Ooh, the dead eye. Let's remember that we get uh, this from the specific vendor. And then I can have crit damage and crit chance on one singular item that's perfect and this is uh why is that oh 84,000. okay allows you to land silently that's a good one let's keep that mm -hmm. all right i have to get back some item from her what do i sell what do i sell what do i sell uh i could sell some crafting components common ones usually they are slightly at the where are they? Somewhere down here, probably. There we go. Uh, let's sell, like, <laughs> half of them. Doesn't really help me that much, does it? Oh, no. I don't have that much stuff left. That's just perfect. What about those? Um, 2,000-something. Let's sell half of them. Yeah, that's just it. I just can't turn this into money that quickly. Buying those mods just it doesn't seem to be worth it. Except for the epic upgrade components. Let's see. Uh, 48,000. I could go for maybe this much. Because I don't upgrade that much. Uh, either. Hmm. The thing is, what happens if I take Deadeye on at least one item? Hmm. Unbelievable. 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 Beom, 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 beom. So, what about this one? Um, that one can be dismantled. And this one. Ah, oh, Dura Polyamide Button Up. It's a golden one. Where do I. Where have I gotten that even? It looks so nice. Let's just wear this for a moment. Nah, it, it's just too golden. It looks cool though. Only thing that it needs is some mod slots. And if it doesn't have anything, it's not useful for me. That's the problem. Uh, yeah, I could put this. As crit chance on this thing. And see how it goes. Okay. And before we do that, we save. So I don't mess up my items that much. Um... All right, so let's take, get rid of this. And this one is at 110. And let's exchange uh, this Fortuna thingy with uh, this one here, yes. 
And how did it go? Stats are at 31 and 110. Uh, that's great. It's, it just says dead eye, nothing else. All right. Now I re-equipped it. Okay, so dead eye doesn't seem to be working at all. Um, that's great. That is just great. Because the thing is, um, yeah, in some Reddit threads, it just says that stuff doesn't really work. But how can you implement a mod and not make it work? Like, it's just... Uh, I just understand that. That's the whole point of it. There are probably some bug fixes for all of that coming up a few months later, but it's a basic, basic stuff. It's basic stuff that you can just make right from the get-go. There's no reason for this to not work. Hey, come on. Absolutely no reason. Yeah. The thing is, maybe I'm just looking at it uh, the wrong way, because I just think of Unity and how I would do this. I would just make a script. Or like, if I... Because you have to manage an awful lot of people for this, right? So, there's one dude who takes in... Um, who does all the stats, right? And does all the calculations. And uh, he takes in, like... Um, Yeah, just uh, different item values or whatever. Puts them through a function. And uh, then the result of this function is uh, the specific stat on the character itself, right? So... Let's see... Um, your... Let's say armor or something like that, right? So, you have a uh, an armor function, right? Um... Okay, so, okay, you have your uh, armor value, right? Uh, the thing that's also taken in for combat calculations and whatnot, yeah? You have this one. And then you apply a calculation function onto it, so armor equals x times y or whatever. Uh, and then it takes into account different inputs. Uh, and then it should just, yeah, go through every single item that has an armor value on it, add it together. And then you have your armor stat. And then it does this, not every time, right? Because <laughs> there's no reason to recalculate it all the time. Uh, it always does it every time you re or you change the inventory, something like that. You re-equip certain items, right? So you only have to calculate it once. It's set up. Then your stats change. Everything is fine. And yeah, and then there's another dude who just um, creates, yeah, items uh, and whatever, those armor mods or whatnot. And then only thing you need to do there is throw them out. <laughs> uh, I didn't even know where the problem for this is. I just, I just, I just don't get it. <laughs> I just don't get it. That's the issue. For me, it's no problem whatsoever. It's simple variable. That should not even make a problem. That shouldn't even be a thing like that. Really weird. Come on. Okay. Okay, so yeah, and then you have a mod. Okay, um, hmm. so what do you do? Uh, you have an object. The object has a mod on it, uh, and this mod changes or adds specific variables onto first of all the mod, and then the mod itself takes uh, this object with its variables. And uh, or with properties, whatever you would call it, and then it collects it into the item, and then the item takes all of that and then throws it onto the character via the whole calculation thing. Hmm. And then, if you don't like the uh, how the values are like 
connected together, right? You can just add them, you can multiply them, but you can do whatever you want. Um, hmm, yeah, wait a minute. You could add all of the percentages, or you could uh, multiply the percentages, right? That's the whole thing. That's how a problem could arise here. Because sometimes what you have is a percentage, and sometimes what you have is just a flat value. Maybe this is why the armor value in general is working much better. Not perfect, but much better, more consistent. Than uh, crit rate. Because crit rate is just multiplied too often, and then they probably just full wrench after this to stop the multi uh multi multiple <laughs> uh multi calculate whatever um the multi stuff it's just weird just really weird Ah, nice, we get servers. Ah, oh, that's perfect. Hmm. Maybe the... Uh, no. Huh. That's also the thing, like, they made the Witcher, right? And the Witcher, I don't know if the Witcher has those problems on it. Because... Like the Witcher 3. The Witcher 3 basically has the crafting program here. They can just recycle it. Change the names of the variables, uh, names of the items, and then give them different properties or whatever. Oh. Could have just recycled the whole thing. Because I don't really know of an issue with the Witcher. But then again, I didn't really use the crafting uh, thing that much. I think it also wasn't really that extensive. I really have to finish The Witcher, by the way. Actually, I have to restart it, to be honest. Alright, so... Let's see... Uh, anyone. See anyone. Destroy anything. Uh, we're going for Contagion again? We short circuit, Stoosh. and dead. Yeah, just a matter of time until you get another short circuit in the face. Like this. Boom. And there's one other dude here who's almost about to see me. Oh, actually, it's a dude. It's a dude. And throw a short circuit, and the fight's over. Yes. Over and out. Alright. Nice, nice, nice. The good thing about this uh, contagion... Wait a minute. Boom! Oh, wait a minute. I have to take uh, additional damage on this one. Oh, no, 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 no. We can hide behind another character. Look at this. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that was close. So, she's good, it seems. No, run. Or not. So, uh, Carl and Molly. What are those two talking about? <sighs> Carl, we got a mark on Tonya with the tigers. She betrayed us, slinging splinters. She's running for them now, Molly. Shit. And here I am sending out people worried uh, uh, worried something happened to the stupid cunt. Duck in Tonya. Ducking sir. Fuck fucking Sarah. Chill. We got this. Yo, we got her. Says we don't kill her. She'll give us some intel. Data worth something. Fuck that cunt. I want her dead. Actually the head. <laughs> I'll rip the head data out myself. What the fucking can make her an example to the resist. No, to the rest, not the resistance. So Molly seems to have been a little bit outrageous. Um, because, I don't know why, but... Uh, oh, that's a nice... Nice way here. Nice area.
Oh, come on. Immediately so died. Same thing here. Same thing here. got the rocket jacket with anti-puncture mesh. Looks cool. Also in terms of color. And there's also the conversation between Tanya and some others. What are they talking about? Whoa. Ah, oh, no. It's just advertisement, not vending machines. I have conversation between Tanya and Andre. Uh, Tanya, listen. No, not Tanya, listen. Tanya said that. <laughs> listen, I don't deal for Maelstrom anymore. As of yesterday, I run for the claws. Andre, what why uh, that wise? Honestly, not scared. They pay me more, way more. New apartment, types of more, and protection. Be a lighthead, not to take advantage. Uh, hope you're right. Wait and see why they hit you up anyway. Connections, and I'll be the bridge. And then uh, she. Wait a minute, what's this? NCPD? Veteran Guard, no affiliation, okay. Uh, wait a minute. I have to save real quick. I don't know who these... I can hack them. That means they are actually contagious. Uh, and short circuit this dude. And maybe put a weapon glitch on them as well. Come on out. You're not in trouble. Do we have more? 3, 2, 1. Let's put another short circuit on there. I should have used the short circuit for this one. Oh no, it's shooting at me. It knows exactly that I'm here. Just wait for 2.5 something seconds. It knows exactly I'm here. Short circuit the thing. It's dead. Alright. Let's wait. And I can do this again. I presume. Not quite. Not quite. Not quite. Now I can. Oh, they have auto aim on them. Too bad. Auto aim doesn't do shit. It's a What is wrong? Whoa. See that? Glass? No glass. Glass? No glass. Glass? No glass. Glass? No glass. So, quick question. Where's the glass coming from? Because it's coming from somewhere. Maybe you can... That's not it. Huh, that's weird. Someone shot at the glass and then it just... That's weird. Why is it invisible if you look at it a certain way? Smash a glass. Not only see-through, but also invisible. <laughs> but only invisible if you don't look at it. Uh, that's the wrong one. There we go. Bollocks. Why is there only one? There we go. No, there's nothing in there. There we go. Oh, come on. Shoo, we get some bubble gum. And this dude should be okay. Hey. You don't got any contagion on you, right? You're good. Dude, you're good. Hmm. Anyway. What did those veterans actually do to him? And why? More of that. No, wait a minute. That's food, isn't it? Nourishment for health, yeah. Only good thing about this is it doesn't really take out, uh, no, take away that much space. Now, uh, hmm, I did this, and I actually wanted to get closer to this ripper dog, which is right down there. 200 something yeah, meters. Do I want to run? Nah. We need our trusted steed. <laughs> That's just great. Yeah. Uh, I got it. 
That was a little too much. And uh, I wanted to say that I'm really good at drifting also. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So, uh, alright. Before we check out this strange ripper dog who is in here, we're going to end this little episode and continue with this at another time. So, learn, like, and subscribe. Ta-ta!